Hey, what is up guys? It's Nine back again with another video. And as you guys may have known that the Masters Berlin tournament just wrapped up this past weekend where we saw some of the best Valorant teams in the world clash head to head in one of the biggest tournaments of the year. And as I was watching, I couldn't help but notice some really cool tips and tricks that these guys were using to secure more rounds. So I took a couple of my favorites and compiled it into this video for you guys. With that being said, let's get right into it. To have oh here, he God. goes, swings out, he gets four, he gets the Red Bull clutch. 100 Thieves were down, but they steal the round away from Gambit. <laughs> They're all good to go. 8-8, eight, eight. jumping back on in, no worries. Let's look at that up. Quick reminder, if you zoned out for a second like you look like a Vova did, Galax does have the up hand play, so that's something that could yes. be different, and that is it. <laughs> So for the first trick, we have this really cool Sage Wall boost that you can do on the defense side on Icebox that will set up your jet for a really nasty op angle into mid. Now, honestly, for the most part, I'm not the biggest fan of Sage Wall boosts. They can often feel very selfish, and a lot of times it feels like a waste of a Sage Wall. But not only does this wall set up your jet for this really nice angle into mid, but it also allows you to cut off tube at the same time, which is something that you want to be doing often on the defensive side on Icebox. So I I think this trick is really cool because it gives you double those benefits. An Allen key that no one's used in four years, but the B site is already being pressured. Space taken, quick plant to nothing to stop this. Maybe C there it can be the thing to stop it. Just spams away, buddy. Is that you? And now he's going to carry on forward. He still wants to try and close that gap, try to get in their faces. He's not going to stop anymore. It's absolute mayhem. And C Ned is trying to thrive in it. He goes still stands though. But the defuse is coming in. Wait, the spray! Oh my god, how are we really seeing this right now? There's nothing they can do. Oh my god. The lockdown as well will confirm it. Oh. We'll get detained here. Look at his, he's not even got his hand on the keyboard and maybe he should, no he doesn't need There's it. There's no way man, stop it Steel. Get him out of the game. This is <laughs> unthinkable, he's actually got the defuse. Got the defuse. Oh, Josh. There's no way what Josh. Have you done? What have you done? Okay, and now for our second trick, this is something really cool that you can use when you're on the attacking side on Haven. If you plant on B site on the right corner, you can actually go back into sewers towards A, where you can set up for this really nice wall bank spot that you can stop the defenders from defusing the bomb. Now this can work with an Ares, I definitely recommend trying it with an Odin though, as of course you have more bullets and larger magazine size, so the success rate will be higher. And this is just something you can try when you're attacking on the B site. Um, just be be wary if you try to do this more than one time people will probably start to come looking for you so definitely something you can pull out once or twice a game to get a cheeky little plant off they're going to be able to huddle back they still have control of, def of a defender spawn they have control of garage as well they just have so much presence and that forces 100 thieves into a position where they're gonna have to oh. fight their way through what's going on chronic oh my gosh the swing from ethan but defos judge of all things, gets the kill on his steal. Nat's playing around, though. He's gonna get cleaned up. Redgar in a 1v3. Ethan on the defuse. He at least gets it to half. Oh, oh my god! There. Redgar, oh my he's god. gonna have to push it. Nitro has to stick it. Nitro wins the round. Oh my gosh! So for our third trick, there's this really cool angle you can be using when playing for the post plant when attacking on B site split. So once you get the plant down in this corner, what you want to do is lurk up towards true mid and get towards heaven. And even if the planter is smoked off or not, you can jump up on these boxes and line up a perfect headshot on anyone trying to defuse the bomb. Now, if it's more people down there, then they'll, they're going to know that you're up here. So after you get the first kill, you might want to drop off, swap angle, play a little bit differently, because if not, if you try to hold this angle for multiple people trying to defuse the bomb, they're going to start pre-aiming towards you. So this can probably just work on one person and then you're going to have to reposition. But it's just something really cool that most people don't expect when you plant the bomb here, because when you plant the bomb here, they always expect that you're just playing in garage and you can definitely catch some people off guard. Imagine what they can do here. Vision Strikers now get a little bit more agency and how they use that util to attack. Oh Look at Redgar. Redgar. Really? So he plays around a smoke. The Roomba doesn't spot him. Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. He's behind him. It's nothing personal. Can he gets one? Not able to get the second. Stacks. The clip runs dry. The frenzy wasn't good there. 
Now, coming into number four, there's this really cool smoke you could use when defending on Bind. If you're trying to defend Hookah, you can set up this cool smoke that's right outside the door that you then push in as they're starting to move their way up through Hookah. And even if they use a raised Boombot, if you time it right, the Boombot won't be able to see you. And then you can get into this really nasty rat position where you could definitely catch one, two, or three people off guard once they move into Hookah. Now, this is something that you can use on pistol rounds, but even gun rounds. But once you've done it once, just expect that people will be checking every time. So this is definitely something you could do maybe once or twice a game to catch some people off guard as they push into hookah. Everything on that X yes, it, it's, absolutely. It's the, they bail out of that. They have nothing left. No. And here we go. Jeffo gonna make it hurt. Just add insult to injury as Ye's gonna fall on this. Now FNS will pick up another. Yo, got the rifle. Marv still got a rifle too. Got a frenzy and a classic. No way Nats has made a tiny pocket to sit inside Hooker here. <laughs> Chilla is right there too. <gasps> oh, the Aldro, he did. I don't think he had to do it, but the pop! Ooh, ooh, the pop flash was perfect, but Crashies could not care less, but there's Nats in the little cubby, and nobody puts Nats in the corner, because look at him! Three quick kills, and the rifles, everything, every small margin that Envy wanted to use. Nat setting up the toxic screen at the start of the round, and this is that lineup for the ult. It's actually insane the preparation that both of these teams have brought into this grand final. So you can see the round is starting, and here is that ult. Watch this angle that he finds. So he has Defo make a large presence by peeking out of Hookah, then he just weasels his way in here, gets hit by a Seeker. But it's just such an outrageous location to check. Oh my goodness, they all jump right by him. He gets an easy 3K. And you can actually see he's forced to crouch in that corner. You can see it from that angle that he was just in. Now, onto our final trick for today. There's this really cool Viper Ultimate setup you can use when defending the B site on Bind. So what you want to do is at the start of the round, come outside the Hookah window and line up your feet right here on the ground. You want to line up your Ultimate. Then as the round starts, you want to pop this. Then you want to jump up into Hookah and crouch in this corner. And people will never expect you to be here. And people will typically, you know, they're going to run into this and they're going to jump into the B site or they're just not going to attack B site at all. But if they do try to come into the B site from Hookah, you're definitely going to catch two or three people off guard from this nasty position. And that is all the tricks I've got for you today, guys. If you like these type of videos, then I can definitely do more in the future with future tournaments and future events that we have with pro players, just compiling my favorite tricks that I see from them into a video. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, guys, and leave me down in the comments below with what trick you're going to try out in rank today. And that's it for me, guys. Until next time, take care. Somebody close the door. Omen heaven, omen heaven. Hang on a little closer. That's three. My planet. One enemy remaining. Hey, heaven. Heaven. You should run. Really?